Weighted Lewiston Road Diverging Diamond Project is finally complete, allowing drivers to have an easier commute. This project has also caused some challenges over the years for businesses in the area as drivers navigated all of that construction for years. Our Nick Veland is live in Grovetown. So, Nick, how are people reacting to those wide open spaces? Yeah, Laura, well, today was the first full day with the Divergent Diamond Interchange as it was put to the test for morning and afternoon rush hours, and drivers are now hopeful that it will continue to keep the traffic flowing. Constant flow throughout the Diamond. A time lapse with News 12's tower cam during the afternoon rush hour shows traffic doesn't back up to the interstate. Today, I came home at 530, like I always do, and it was we weren't backed up. So it, that, that was it was a really good feeling not to be stuck out there on I-20 with like 18 wheelers driving by and people cutting each other off. And so I think I think it's like a safer version. So I'm hoping it stays that way for the long run. Addison Carroll uses Lewiston Road to get to work as a truck driver daily. Living here his entire life, he says the last couple of years getting home has been dangerous. There was just a lot of wrecks and, and mirrors taken off. And it's just really scary when you're, you know, two inches from an 18 wheeler come, coming by you at 65 miles an hour. He travels to Charlotte where there are more diverging diamonds. He says this traffic pattern is just something for people where practice makes perfect. It's kind of like, you know, learning new things in life. Once you do it once or twice, you know, you're like, oh, this is easy. So I, I don't think it's, I don't, it's nothing to be scared of. Once, once we, everybody gets used to it and the whole city, you know, kind of, you know, conforms to it. I think it's going to be a, a great help to the city. For local businesses like Tipsy Bar and Grill, they're excited for traffic to flow, giving them more time to stop in. Hopefully it'll bring people into Grove Town a little more and out this way. Come stop by and have a drink or two. And there are signs warning new drivers about the new shift in effect. So if it is your first time going through this traffic pattern, drive slow and follow the signs down the right path. All right. Good to see it open after all of these years. Nick, thanks for walking us through that. Taking a lot.